Oh, bonjour, welcome to a, the second trip, well, second park of the trip. Uh, today we're at Park St. Paul, which is a very small park. It's literally 15 minutes away from where we're actually staying last night. We're at another hotel tonight. We're at seven different hotels this trip. This park is home to seven different roller coasters. It's home to uh, Wood Express, which is the uh, Gravity Craft coaster that opened last year. So it's a brand new credit for us. I've only ever done one Gravity Craft coaster or Gravity Group, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and that was Mind Blower at Fun Spot in, uh, in uh, Kizumi. So the first one we've got here looks like a Vekoma Junior coaster. I'd say seven creds, I don't really know much about the park at all. There's about 20, 28 euros or something to get in. Uh, just want to point out as well, they don't allow selfie sticks here either. Uh, so I've had to sneak it in, but there's no other way of me doing the vlog otherwise, just holding the GoPro. So as it looks like around here, loads of kiddie, par uh, kiddie rides. Uh, the Vekoma Coast is just here, looks pretty good. I get you some more information and stuff as well. Obviously, people are queuing up to get into the ride. I want to do the vlog as well. Uh, you got a little drop tower, a Ferris wheel, which we find out I don't think is open. So yeah, happy Easter. So he's got a selfie stick. There's a guy on the ride there with a selfie stick. So, so it's one rule for one and not for another person. That's really odd, that. <laughs> yeah, this is the Vekoma. It looks quite busy. I thought it'd be a bit quiet today, but uh, obviously not. Yeah, hey, there they are, they're over there. <laughs> yeah, look, look. What's that selfie stick on the ride? <laughs> You're not allowed to do that, surely. Oh well, never mind. Park St. Paul today. Right, here we go. Just had to look on the uh, roller coaster database because I didn't actually know what it was called. It's called Aero Train, uh, 2014 uh, Vekoma Junior Coaster. Slightly different layout to ones that I've done before. Woo! I don't know if it's a two lap special or not. It's a very small layout. Swan boats, definitely not flamingos. Woo! Is that it? Is it two lap? Yes! Happy days. Creds. Yeah, so we're back at the entrance again. That coaster was just down there. I just wanted to point out the security guards. Just don't know if you could just about see them there. They are uh, some of the tallest people I've ever seen in my life. I actually think they're a part of a show here as well. They've got some shows on this giant teddy's quite cute. In fact, the whole shop's pretty cute. It's very nice. It's a nice bit of theming around this section here. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, the wheel's not running today. So straight onto the straight onto the next cred. Little beaver blowing bubbles out of here. <laughs> Cred. It does indeed. Here we go, La Pomme La. Is that two different rides? Yeah. It's just called La Pomme, isn't it? Yeah, that's very true. La Pomme. 
It's another coaster credit. Another caterpillar. Cred. This one's got quite a bit of decent theming on it. The apple's in the middle, which is different because you normally have them on this section here. So the apple's actually in the middle, so the drop goes through the, the apple as well. Huh? Oh, and it's tire driven. Wow, yeah. Definitely not a Pinfari. I don't think this one is a Pinfari actually. But yeah, it's a nice pretty park again in the uh, trees and the lovely areas. I don't know if that's some sort of boat ride over there. So yeah, the last coaster we was on was Aero Train 2014 Vacoma. And this one is uh, La Pomme, or Pomme, and it's a Dow Amusement Rides Company, 2005. No other information about it, really. Yeah, quite interested to see that, bit of theme in there in the middle. Oh, and the steam as well. Smoke machine inside it. There you go, this could potentially be the best caterpillar I've ever been on. <laughs> Cred. Cred. <laughs> Let's get on it. And it's a three lap special. Right, here we go. Potentially the best caterpillar in the world. Theming. It's got really good lap bars on it as well. Really comfortable. Giant apple in the middle. It's got steam inside it as well, but yeah, the lap bars are great. Just clicks in the side here. Loads of room. You got the steam. Here we are, look at that. Special effects. Whee! Better than Icon. <laughs> Better than Icon. Here comes a drop. Woo! <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's better than Wicker Man. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it's got better theming than Wicker Man. Oh, what a credit. It's really smooth as well, actually. Yeah, definitely better than a Pinfari model. I think it's a two lap special as well. I love it. Best credit of the halt of the trip, this. <laughs> and you can film on rides as well. People have got the mobiles out and everything, they don't care. Woo! I come. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on to your bags. Right, I'm saying it right here, best caterpillar I've ever been on. That was awesome. Got to get the caterpillar creds. Right, there you go. You didn't expect me to uh, get, <laughs> get the world's best caterpillar cred in this trip. That was really good. Fast, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're probably all watching this thinking, is this guy mad? Are you what? You know? No, seriously. I mean, I do love my caterpillars. It's the, they're actually a childhood, um, childhood coaster for me. You know, very young child. They were the first sort of coasters I've been on. So, and I've been on a lot of them now, and I love them. Um, that was really good, actually. Really smooth. It had the tire-driven lift hill. The smoke. Br brilliant. It's just a caterpillar, but it's the best one I've ever been on, hands down really good right we're off down here like i said there's seven creds at this park um while i'm walking i'll just be uh, telling you what's what's here off the uh cheating off the uh roller coaster database so right so we've just been on pom which was the caterpillar it looks like we're heading towards i can't remember which one that is but there's a few there's one called wild train that could be wild train uh pax company rides there's a couple of them so you got, uh, yeah, I think it's got Wild Train, is that. It's a 2000 Pax Company. 
we're not sure if this is running because it said it was SB and O for oh no, I can see people on the train I think uh, you also got Formula One which is a really weird Pax Company wild mouse coaster I'll point showing you my phone you can't see anything uh, well, what else you got uh, you also got Wood Express as well which is the 2018 Gravity Craft Woody that's at the back of the park so yeah I think that's running it is yes so if this is actually going we should get all the credits today seven creds today again lovely park and again very hot 18, deg 18 degrees already so let's get another, another cred third one of the day right here we go manufacturer cred packs very tight in here my knees are touching the front of here oh my god oh hold on oh here we go Train. Oh, <laughs> they were screaming behind. Yeah, it was. Wow, that's mental. That. Yeah, I was just saying. There's not much room in here. <laughs> wow, crazy. Wow. <laughs> well, the, the wild train was definitely wild. That's one of the craziest small compact coasters I've ever been on. It's obviously some sort of travelling style ride that they've sort of buried it into the ground there you can see that they've covered it over um but no that was absolutely bonkers was that never done anything like that before that was a pax company uh first time manufacturer cred for that i think we're going over to do the drop tower now it's just done its little cycle it's taking about five minutes to get up there could be a fabric we're not too sure about the manufacturers of some of these rides but look there's another there's another two creds over there going around so I might as well leave the chest harness on rather than taking the uh, taking off and put it on the handle every five minutes. Um, it's a, quite a small park. Um, so yeah, there's another cred there. Uh, it's Spinny Wild Mouse just over there as well. That's the... Um, uh, yeah, I think we've been on one of them before. Zamperla. Sorry, my mind went blank then. Yeah, that's a Zamperla Spinny Mouse. Right, let's give the little drop tower a go. Uh, are we there yet? Yeah? Nearly, we slow down more just before we drop. Oh, I can see the shadow. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, nice <sighs> Ready? Uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, hold on to your sunglasses. Oh! Woo! Oh! <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, that's a good one, that. Wow. Hold on to your sunglasses. There you go. That was awesome. It's actually called Tour Descent Extreme. And you can see on there, construction, uh, PAX design. Um, really good, actually. 2004, 40 meters high, acceleration 4.5G. You can actually feel it on there, it's really forceful actually, some good, uh, yeah, really enjoyed that. I say we're going over to do these two other coasters over here now. Uh, I think that's another PAX actually, I think there's a few, uh, there's that one there that we've just been on. And then there's the one over here as well, I think that one's called like crazy, oh no it's the Formula One one, sure it is. But no, it's a really pretty park here, you've got all these little huts as well, you can have like your picnics and things, it's really nice, all the grass. It's got like a feel, like a Wild West feel to it. It's very nice. I think we're doing Formula One. No, we're not. Not doing Formula One. Don't know where the Gravity Group coaster is or the Gravity Graph coaster. I think it's in the back somewhere. 
I can't see any wood though. Wow, this thing looks mental. I think we're doing the, uh, we're doing the mouse. Zamperla mouse, yeah. Another Zamperla. Yeah, spinning mouse that doesn't spin. This one looks nice as well, actually. But it was similar, it was basically the same as the one we did at Dreamland, uh, Pinball X. Pretty much, it was like, pretty much identical. Right, here we go. The second Zamperla spinning wild mouse within the past couple of days. <laughs> Let's see if we can get any spinning on this one. And by the looks of it, it doesn't look like it spins at all. Theirs isn't spinning. I must admit, I do prefer these trains and the uh, standard Revachon models. Oh, just about to see Wood Express over there in the background. <laughs> Woo! There we go. It's a bit rough, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 we got, yeah, we got a bit of spinning. Whoa, Woo. we've actually got some spinning. Oh! <laughs> Wee! Hey, how was it spinning? It's a bit, br <laughs> it's a bit rylan. Here we go. Air time, hold on. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh, sharp break. Oh! That was all right. I think it was better than Pinball X. Not as smooth as Pinball X, but we've got, got a better spin on it. That wasn't too bad at all, that. So that wild mouse wasn't actually too bad at all. Um, like I said, it's exactly the same model it's Pinball X at Dreamland in Margate. I actually thought, mm, I don't know, it's a bit it's a bit of an odd one because the one at Dreamland is obviously smoother because it's newer. That one actually spun a bit. But we were stood watching it and some of them were not spinning at all. There's the uh, Gravity Craft coaster just over there as well. I don't know if that's the exit, but I can't see any queue for that. The children's area just here. This looks really weird <laughs> it's uh i think it's another pax company but it's got overbank turns on it we're just making that out it looks really good actually all formula one themed ferrari mercedes i'm sure it's uh i'll have a quick look formula one it's called and it's um uh, it is it's another pax company 2005 model So I think we're going on this next. This looks really smart, actually. Yeah, I like it. Again, it's another travelling ride. Oh, here's the Woody. Woody, 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 Woody. First wooden credit of the of the trip. We're getting on a few. Obviously, hopefully, we'll be getting on Colossus. At Heidi Park, the retracked, rethemed Colossus at Heidi Park, so I can't wait for that. Oh, here we go. This looks really smart. Short trains on it, it's the, uh, it's the Gravity Group trains on it, the Timberliners. Like I said, I've only ever done one of these, which is Mind Blower at Fun Spot. 
three million three million euros for one of these that's without the theming and everything three million a park a parking wow back in the uk really de desperately needs something like that i know we've got uh well it's not in the uk is it? it's an island tato park's got one but polton's park could really do with something like that not not this the woody but this looks really fun as well look how steep that lift hill is right let's get on formula one Right, here we go. Look how steep this lift hill is. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's very steep. It's like a ghost, ghost or Euro fighter. On the on the restraint yeah, here. Like these, um, oh. I don't, oh my god. I don't like these bars. No, I don't. I don't think it should be that. Right, big. we'll get you a front row POV now. That was crazy that. Oh man. Right, we were just about to queue up to go on uh, Formula One again, uh, so I could get the front row POV. We'll come back later, but yeah, I just stood in the queue, it's just broken down, so we're going on Wood Express as well. So it looks like I've been pushed back of the queue again. Yeah, so 2018 Gravity Craft, not Gravity Group, Gravity Group are the, uh, the designers, Gravity Craft are the manufacturer. Wow, the trains look well good. Yeah, brand new cred. Love a good Woody. Long queue for this one. Yeah, big queue for him. I think the station's just over there anyway, so not too bad. Probably about 15, 20 minutes or so. Here we go. I would... Very short lift hill on here. Here we go, We've got to get some air time on this beast. But yeah, quick, very quick. Yay! Right, there we go. Wood Express done. We've got one more credit to go at this part, which is another little Zamperla coaster, little 
little caterpillar thing. I say I did one at Gulliver's Warrington. Right now, Wood Express. It's the second only gravity craft coaster I've ever done. It's a hybrid like Mind Blower of Fun Spot in Orlando. Uh, sorry, Kismet. Well, it's in it. Yeah, in Florida. And it was awesome. It was a little bit rough. You can see the movement on the GoPro. Obviously, I had the chest harness on, but I was holding it out a bit because it's on like the uh, fourth row, I think. But it's got some good transitions on it. Now, something like that would be perfect for any UK park. Paltons Park, uh, Flamingo Land, any of them would benefit from something like that. It's fast, it was all right, it was really good. The only niggle I have got with these is the restraints. I'm not keen on the restraints. They are a bit tight on me, with my big thighs. Um, I haven't got to go on a diet, I think. <laughs> but yeah, that was awesome, really good. What did you think to Wood Express, Charlotte? Really good. Really good. Um, Oscar's Wacky Taxi. Which it's we went better to, we than Oscar's yeah. Wacky Taxi, yeah. Which Similar really sort of layout, isn't it? Yeah, Not yeah. very big. What's that yeah. new one they just built in? Uh, is it Kentucky Flyer? Oh yeah, that's we're going. We're going on. Yeah, that as well Kentucky this year, Flyer. So. Ke to, yeah, yeah, Kentucky Kingdom. Yeah, so really yeah, it was all right. That yeah, like I said, one more cred. We've got a log flume to get in. That's probably about it. We'll probably do some re rides. I definitely want to do that again. Yeah. Uh, and, the, and this and Formula that. One as well. This was pretty mental, wasn't it? <laughs> that yeah. Look at it. It's, it's bonkers. It does, it's weird, but there's not really a lot to hold on to. Um, and you end up sliding into the person next to you. It's a very nice little park, again, very underrated. There isn't a huge amount of rides here. I'll say that, there's seven credits and a handful of kids rides and things. And uh, yeah, we're having a good morning. Eh? Oh yeah, drop tower was good. It's literally just gone 10 past 12 now. So, and we've done quite a lot already. Like I said, there's only a couple of rides left for us to go on. Uh, and then we'll do some re-rides. Uh, tonight we're going, well this afternoon, we're going to a fair. What's it called again? Foire de Tron. Foire de Tron. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Foire, Foire de Tron. It's <laughs> wherever it is. It's near Paris. A huge fair. Five more credits to get on. Seven. Seven, seven. seven, seven more credits. It's wow. In it's in Paris. Yes. Right, we'll look forward to that. Toilet credit now. such an awesome little coaster actually it's not the it's not the biggest but it's pretty quick and it's got some great transitions on it something like that would be fantastic like i say for Fal for Paltons park or anything like that at all uh, just down here we just noticed there's a big tent and they have a lion show on that's i think that's a bit cruel we don't you know don't really support stuff like that uh, lions being and tigers being used for shows shouldn't really be allowed anymore in this day and age uh, you got a super bob here we might give that a go in a bit uh there used to be a zampilla disco just here that's not there anymore you got a kid's slides just here uh the log flume uh, it looks like a yeah traveling version but it's themed well themed version so i think we might be doing the log flume next i've seen a lot of these Little stalls selling ice creams and they're all closed. So that's no good. <laughs> yeah, the Zampilla Disco, I don't know if it's, I don't know what they've done with that. So I don't even know if it's new for this year. They haven't even finished building it. That's quite cool. Yeah, it's a little traveling version that they've themed up. It's probably a ravish on. Looks good though, some good theming on that. Looks brilliant. Wow, that looks awesome that. We'll give that a go in a bit. Like I say, we're going to this fair tonight, so not too sure what time we're here till. 
but there's only one more credit to get it's just a little kids crud this looks really good <gasps> yeah, they look wet. Awesome. Reminds me of Shikra Bush Gardens, eh? Look how wet this floor is around there. Eh? The whole floor is soaking wet. Yeah. There you stand there. I tell you, it's stand there. Whoa! <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's a proper soaker, that. Yeah, the water's not the cleanest, is it? Yeah, Dino Splash, this is called. Obviously, if you didn't notice, with the dinosaurs, it does look good. Yeah, I think it's a, a Revachon, isn't it? Not a clue. Not a, well, not a clue, but I'm guessing it is. Two drop special on it. Could be a Pax, yeah. We figured out Pax is a Russian company. Oh, it might have done, yeah. I'll get you some info in a bit. But it does look good. All right, let's get on. Theming. Wow, look at this. Wow. Potentially the world's best themed log flume, traveling one. This is pretty cool. And it's really warm. It's, it's hot enough for a soaker anyway, 21 degrees now. Yeah, again, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog from today. There's only a few more rides to do here. And we'll probably end up doing some more re-rides and things. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Follow the uh, Coaster Crazy Facebook page, which basically just Coaster Crazy. Type that in. Instagram, Coaster Crazy Andy. I think it's Walk On as well. Yeah, there's only. Oh my God! <laughs> what's this? <laughs> um, what's that? Wet, wet feet cred. What the hell? Oh my God! Wet feet, Fred. Ah! <laughs> well, it's cold as well. Oh, what? Ah, oh, my boom is getting wet already. <laughs> oh, are we? Oh god, yeah, double dropper. <laughs> oh, cruel. Cruelty to animals. Oh, here we go. Pro slip down. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. I always get mostly wet. Oh. Go away. Oh, it's like the toffee. Th it's like the toffee fee log flume at uh, Energy Landia. Oh my God. Here we go. Ah. I know it's cold as well. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. There's, because the handle's wet as well, I'm, I've got a fear of slipping forward. I might put my feet up there. <laughs> oh god, here we go.
here we go. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on. Oh not again! Oh my god! Oh, are you wet? Yeah. I am dripping! Oh no! Oh it's a toffee fee again! Oh it's definitely a revish on this! Oh mental! Ah oh, that log flume was a bit of a soaker. Yeah just walk around the corner from the log flume. I am absolutely soaked by the way, I really am. <laughs> the shorts and everything. We've got this nice little plaza area here with a wave swinger. Looks like some sort of spooky theme around here as well. So hopefully there's a ghost train. We're not sure because obviously on the map it's all in French as well. We're just going down to get this credit now. The last one of the day, the little Zamperla uh, crazy mouse thing. Little it's a little tiny thing. It's basically what there was at um, Gulliver's in Warrington. Now this is interesting. Basically stand on a board and it's like a coaster, look at it. Now this would not be allowed in the UK. There's nothing keeping you on, you basically just stand on a thing. So if you fell off that, oh, yeah. <laughs> this, uh, this house thing's really mental, this lifts up and spins. I like these aeroplanes around here. Oh, the Spitfires and the Messerschmitt. They're really cool. And the Mustang. I like that. Yeah, Mansion Foldingo or something. And then you got Buddy Rabbit Ride over there. A funhouse thing for the kids, play areas. A tiny little kids boat ride. I think it's self operated. Yeah, I think it is. There's no operator on there. It's really pretty though. You've got like this big boat in lake. I'm sure there's some boats used to go around here. Oh, there's pedlows as well. Stuff for the kids again. It's really nice park actually, it's something totally different. Oh what? Are you doing it? Are you doing the cred? This is weird this. Tele Foreign Eek. Park St. Paul is uh is who's op who's uh, manufactured it. 1992. So basically sit on a thing or stand on a thing and you go around. I think it's self-operated, it is. Self-operated. Alright, let's give it a go. Yeah, that's a proper cred is this. So you pull your own thing up, like the little hill here, and then you basically just stand on it, and off you go. <laughs> oh, here we go. You gotta wait until the green light goes. Get on it. Here we go. <laughs> this is mental. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> oh. crazy that that ride over there was interesting hard work actually holding on right next up we're going on the last credit of the day the seventh roller coaster here mini mouse cartoon like i say it's sam perler uh yeah i've done one of these before they're not they're not very exciting but it's a cred anyway at the end of the day cred's a cred we got one at uh, gulliver's world 
in Warrington. Basically just goes up the lift hill with the tyres and it just comes down the side. It's nothing exciting like I say. And then we'll go and check out that area over there. Could be, could be some sort of dark ride over there. We are not sure. We've looked at the map, we can't really understand it. Obviously it's in French. Yeah, so basically it does this. Seventh credit of the day though. It's got more coasters than uh, a lot of parks I've been to. Here we go. I probably won't bother filming the second lap. You've, you've, you've seen these sort of rides before. It's literally, it's all it does. It's basically like a little powered coaster. <laughs> Martin and Charlotte are going back on there again just to get another POV. Um, yeah, while, uh, while they're on there, I'll just start, I'll show you the map. It doesn't blow away. Basically, quite a small map. We do have a couple of shows on, like I said, the Lion Show. Yeah, we're not really um, into that. Uh, there's like a bubble show, don't know where that is, and then they do a Halloween event as well. Uh, the food options there as well. I haven't really seen much for food options. And the map itself, it's not the biggest of parks, really. So we're sort of just this section here at the moment, just come off that coaster, which is just next behind me over here. And you've got like the lake. It did just show like there's some sort of old steamboat there, but I've not seen it running. It looks like that's not on there anymore. And then you've got the swans going around as well. But other than that, there's a couple of odd little things. There's a little pirate ship there. It looks like some dodgems down here, but we've got to check up this area next. I think there's some sort of uh, ghost train or haunted house or something. Yeah, but yeah, it's not a bad little part really. Not a, not a huge deal arise, but like I said, it's got the seven creds here, so that's a bonus. So I was saying at the start of the video about these uh, security guys as some of the tallest people I've ever seen. Well, these two of them here, so I don't know if they were part of a show or anything, but yeah, it's just saying two meters 32 tall, but one of them was, it was over seven foot easily. One of the tallest men I've ever seen in my life. Um, I don't know if they're actually still down in the security or uh, or if they're a part of some sort of show or, but yeah, they had like police uniforms on. But yeah, massive guys, absolutely massive. But yeah, we're going over down here now to check out, see if there's these dark rides or whatever. But it's a nice park. Like I said, it's got some audio and stuff playing around here. It's nice. It's something different, it's unique. And it's not that far away from Bagatelle either, so where we was at the other day. Oh, actually, in fact, it was yesterday. That was nice. So you could uh, incorporate the two parks in one day if you come over. Not sure about it, you could do it in one day each park, but you know what I meant. <laughs> yeah, we're going to check out these over here. Like I said, there's some sort of magic show or something over there. There's exit for something there as well. Yay, we found a 3D walkthrough. Woo! Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, obviously you wear your 3D glasses. A bit like Hocus Pocus Hall. That was at Chessington. It's uh, now changed to Room on a Broom. This is really trippy. 
This is really good actually. Obviously the GoPro won't be showing it out. It's just painted stuff on the walls. But when you've got the glasses on that, tiger's really poking out. Oh, it's good as this. Oh, the clown, that's freaky. That's awesome. Multivisions 3D that we've just come out of there. It was literally just another couple of corners to do in there, so I didn't film the whole thing. That was awesome. That was really good, actually. Really good 3D effects on there. Basically, just UV paint. You know, when you take your glasses off, it doesn't really do anything. But we got the 3D glasses on. It's really good. There's quite a few attractions in the UK, like I say, Hocus Pocus Hall, it was a Chessington World of Adventures. That used to be like that, now it's obviously room and a broom. Um, and then a lot of Halloween attractions seem to do stuff like that. A lot of clown mazes have that. That was really good. Now we're walking down here. We were saying to ourselves before, all this looks fairly new. So if you've ever actually ever been to this park, please comment down below and let us know, because I'm not sure, I don't know if it was an old building that they've redone, but all this is like sprayed on concrete, so they make the like the make it look like bricks. It's really good actually, it's smart around here, like a a scary sort of theme to it. We're thinking there's some sort of ghost train or something down here somewhere, because there's quite a few things down here. It says exit down at the bottom, but there's an entrance for something here. I'm pretty much guaranteed it's a ghost train. Oh, look at this here. <laughs> I think she's lost her dog. <laughs> That's hilarious, is that? You lost your dog, love. Yeah, it's up your ass. It's up your bum. <laughs> That's brilliant. So these clown things here as well. This is really good. I'm, I'm guessing that's... Oh, it's a mirror thing. Let's have a look in here. Huh? Oh. Put your hands in it. No, I don't want it, what's it? Put your hands in it. It isn't. Go in the whole way. It's just it's just What is it? What is it? What are you dog? I don't like stuff like that. There might be a spiders in there. I thought there was. This is brilliant. All right. This is like some sort of fun house. So yeah, so there's like a, a nice slim girl here. She's obviously big in there. And then the big bloke here, which is, which is me. And that's what I wish I looked like. And then mirror maze. I missed it. Yeah, it's a walk through. Like a fun house. Strobe lighting uh, effects in here. Uh, yeah, it's not a ghost train. I wish there was though. Exorcist style. Oh! 
c'est embêtant. Avec là, je crois que je perds la tête. Trouble. The screens at Blackpool Gladio Beach. Oh. <laughs> oh, vibrating floor. That's the end of it. We'll start doing some re-rides now. So back at Formula One, it's now open again. Well, it was after we'd even queued in for, uh, for Wood Express. Yeah, this is a tent here where they got the lions. Don't really agree with stuff like that. I'm, I'm a, I am a bit of an animal lover. And to uh, have lions and tigers and things in shows is um, it's not really my sort of thing, really. I, I, don't, I don't approve to it. So anyway, we'll go back on the, uh, on the rides. do this, get, try and get a front row POV and then we'll get back on Wood Express again. Yeah. I've done it, I've done it, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh man. It's almost like a vertical lift hill on this. It's mental. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> ah! Whoa! Ah! Oh, it's crazy. Gravity craft, here we go. on the front. Wow, brilliant that. I was nearly out of the seat then. I was there time the road. Yeah, look at this train as well. The front of it is beautiful. Really, really good. Polton's Park needs one of these. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. Okay, so you 
get to try the last row. Last row is better. Is okay. it? Uh. Well, there we go. It's pretty much our final ride of the day here. Like I said, we're going to this massive fair in Paris now. Uh, we just picked up stuff up. Dropped on the floor. Uh, that was awesome. Front row ride on Wood Express. Brilliant. Loads of air time. So much better at the front than it is at the back. I mean, we just got off and the engineer just said, oh, you want to try the back? Um, but no, we did like third from the back the first time we did it. It was it was all right, but they're definitely the, it's definitely a front row ride. Loads of air time on it. It's so good. If anything, I think it was just as good as Mind Blower. Uh, as, a, as a gravity craft coaster or gravity group, whatever you want to call them. But look at that banking down there, it's awesome, it's so fast. Brilliant, yeah, really, really good. I think we're actually leaving the park now, so I mean, we had a couple of re rides on a few of the coasters, but it's been really good here. Again, sort of better than I expected, really. I mean, yeah, it's got a few sort of cheap traveling coasters here and there, but this is amazing. It only opened last year, 2018. Probably a great investment for the park. It's the biggest ride here, and it's the biggest queue of the day as well. It looks amazing. I love these hybrid coasters. I think they look stunning. Right, so we're actually walking out of the park now and we have actually had a really good day here we haven't had a full day here um, I don't think it's a full day park I mean if you went on all the smaller flat rides and things as well there's a couple of kids rides the pirate ship just over there that we haven't done yeah you know, this is the thing about the giant people all the tall men that's Robert Wadlow yeah it is what Robert Wadlow Oh my god. I don't know if it could show you in the perspective of how tall he is. Massive. Well this is to do with like the uh, the, the tall people that were uh, at, the, at the gates. Basketball players and things. World records. The biggest feat. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. I mean obviously it's all in French so I can't really understand what's going on. But that's what I was saying about the security guys. Well, no, it's been a really nice park, actually. It's been really good. Uh, hey, you all right? You're on the telly now. Hello. Coaster Crazy, check me out. Uh, I'll talk to some of these guys here as well. So, yeah, we'll walk out the entrance and I'll uh, wrap up the blog. But it's, it's been really good, actually. Some, uh, yeah, 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 photo. Hey, photo of Jilek. Yeah, that's the camera. Here. Yeah, yeah, I'll, turn, I'll, fi I'll finish the finish and then a photo. Right, all oh, right, right. I'll, I'll, yeah, with a GoPro. Come on then. He's going to take a picture. <laughs> Down here, I think. Photos. All right, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought he was with them. <laughs> oh, well, he's not. Trying to sell me something now. <laughs> that was uh, that was quite random. And then that guy, I thought he was with Charlotte and her friends that she's met here, but he's trying to sell us a photograph. Don't do photographs. So it was a nice picture, but yeah, we're walking out of the park now. I'm waiting for them obviously to uh, catch up with us. But there's another few little flat rides and a stage there with a screen on it. Uh, unfortunately, the Ferris wheel's been closed all day today. That's been quite sad. Well, no, it's been a really nice park. You've still got the tall guys down at the end, the security guys. Um, you've got the swan boats down here as well. Well, no, it's been very nice. 
Oh, they have got the big river, Mississippi River there. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, well. Yeah, so you've got the big boat ride as well. But no, it's been really good here. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to like the Facebook page and the Instagram as well. It's all at the end of the video, you'll see. Uh, the next one coming up from here is the Trois de Trois de Trois. It's the, the big fair in, in Paris. You'll see it when the title pops up. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one today from Parc Saint Paul in France. It's just outside of Paris. We had a really good day today. I think the highlight for me and everyone else has obviously been Wood Express. Great little uh, addition. Really good coaster that, really enjoyed it. And I hope some English parts get something like that because it's just definitely something that we need anyway. But no, we've had a really good day. I shall see you later. Bye for now.